Rondell is in New York City. Hi, Rondell. How are you? Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. I'm well. How are you? Better than I deserve. How can we help? Um, so I am looking to, so I just sold my house and I'm looking to purchase a new home. So I'm wondering if I should get a two family home. That's going to be uh, a bit more expensive. Obviously real estate in New York is super expensive, but I'm, I plan on renting out half of it. And that income that I project should bring me down to that 25% uh, debt to income ratio. So I was wondering, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Or should I just go for like a regular house? Uh, I probably would go for a regular house. And the reason I, I would do that personally is a two-family home, the good news is your renter is next door and you can watch out for what's going on. The bad news is your renter is next door. And if they want something, they're just going to be knocking on your door. I mean, it's, um, so it's, a it's a little bit awkward at times to be in the same property. The other thing is a two family home, 90% of the time that it's, it's sold is not owner occupied, meaning it's going to be a, an investor buying a duplex, buying a two, two unit product. And, uh, so your buyer on that kind of a thing is always an investor, most always. And it's therefore they're looking for a deal. Your buyer on a single family, when you get ready to resell, is retail. It's Joe and Susie just got married once that house or whatever. And so, and they pay retail. So single families of the exact same price will typically appreciate better than a duplex will uh, just because of who the end user is when you get ready to flip out of it. But uh, it's, it's not a bad idea. It's not the end of the world. But, you know, sometimes all we look at is the math and we're going, oh, the renter's going to help me pay and that's going to just be grand. And it's like, no. Yeah. It's, uh, there's a lot of crap involved in all that. That's not going to necessarily be fun. So, um, you know, I, I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't personally because of quality of life. I just wouldn't want to live right next door to my renter. It's just, I just personally wouldn't want to do that. And that's just, and I've got a bunch of rental property and I'm not a snob. I've been a renter. That's not the point, but I just, that, that's an awkward relationship. Well, it's the convenience of what they have towards you. Yeah. To, yeah. To do what they need. I mean, you're pulling in the driveway and they're both pulling in the driveway and it's like, you know, it's just weird next door neighbor, weird relationship. So, but you can do whatever. I mean, it, it's not a bad thing, but it's certainly not a slam dunk. Oh yes, definitely take the income because there's more to it than, than, than just, that when you're when you're renting property open phones at 888-825-5225 and by the way there are once you learn how to work with people in the real estate business and you learn how to interview uh, a potential renter for one of your properties like you were interviewing a team member to come on board with your company uh it's not dissimilar uh, you, you you can learn to weed out people that are going to be a problem, and you can learn to put in really high-quality folks. A lot of the rental property that we have, Rachel's husband, Winston, runs our, our rentals, runs all, all of our real estate, and he does a great job screening the tenants in. And it's not unusual for one of our tenants to have been in a property five years. And our friends, they become friends because they're good people, yeah. you know. And so, that, you know, you can get, you know, the, you never hear me say we're putting down renters. We're not. Because I've been one, and we work with a lot of really high-quality people that, for whatever situ- whatever reason at this point in our life, they're renting. So you can, you can get, if you do the proper screening, you can get a good situation.